everybody. This is Dr. Robert Piers, an Australian family doctor, who's going to talk to you this time about polycystic ovary syndrome. So this is for the ladies. Polycystic ovary syndrome is very common in Western society. It might be rare or unknown in primitive societies. We think it's maybe really a dietary problem. And the dietary problem is not necessarily in the sufferer's own life, but the mother may have eaten too much saturated fat in pregnancy and also creating anxiety disorder to go with the polycystic ovary syndrome. I'll explain how this could happen. Uh, uh, it, it, the, the best evidence we've got so far for where polycystic ovary syndrome comes from uh, is uh, that a fatty pregnancy diet can cause cortisol hormone in the mother's blood to cross the placenta and create an anxious brain in the baby before they are born. There is possibly, there is a strong possibility that earlier in the pregnancy, I'm not sure when, it might be quite early, that if the fatty diet like the chocolate and cheese and the butter are being consumed earlier in the pregnancy, that a slight traces of male hormone, that's testosterone, in the mother's blood are getting across the placenta. This has been suggested by Professor Vivek Glover in London. Uh, now if the small amounts of male hormone get across uh, the placenta uh, in the first first trimester or second trimester of pregnancy, this may have the some unexpected effect of creating the little follicles, the little cysts in the ovaries. So, so six months before the, the child's born, she might have polycystic ovaries. They're not true cysts, they're small follicles, two millimetres, they're very small, uh, but they'll persist for the rest of her life, I guess. So if the mother eats a fatty diet right through pregnancy, buttercream, cheese, chocolate, etc., cakes and pastries, we may get both effects that the, the girl child is born with a potential for polycystic ovaries, or she's got them already developed perhaps at birth, and she's also anxious because later in the pregnancy the fatty diet let cortisol hormone sneak across the placenta and program anxiety in her brain. Now I've seen cases where the woman has polycystic ovary syndrome but does not have anxiety. So it might have been that she was exposed to a fatty maternal diet only later in the pregnancy. I've seen the opposite, where there's a, there, there are polycystic, polycystic ovaries, but no anxiety. So we, most often they mix together, but not always. Uh, so anyway, the treatment's the same, and I'll get to that now. We've got uh, most often an anxious sufferer with polycystic ovary syndrome, uh, and even if they're not anxious, all of these people should have a low-fat diet because that causes diabetes. And we know that polycystic ovary syndrome women are very likely to develop both gestational diabetes and permanent maturity onset or type 2 diabetes, even when they're quite young, you know, 40 or something, or 45. So we want a, low, a rigorous low-fat diet, being very, very careful with buttercream, cheese and chocolate here. Now, as to for treating the underlying syndrome, the, the hormonal problems, uh, the, 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 the lack of periods, the, the unwanted hair, the acne, this is the male hormone effect, I guess. We want, more, we want a more estrogenic female hormone thing happening here, and we can probably get this by treating the anxiety, because the anxiety, uh, the stress hormone, like the cortisol, suppresses in the brain the reproductive axis, you know, the connections from the brain, the gonadotrophin hormones, to the ovaries. This can be improved with a simple supplement called inositol, uh, which is a seed sugar. It's extracted out of rice. It's found in grains and nuts and beans and rock melon and citrus. And it's been used in about nine trials now in polycystic ovary with very good results, restoring menstruation, restoring fertility rapidly, lowering glucose levels, lowering insulin levels, lowering blood pressure and triglycerides and raising good guy cholesterol which is HDL cholesterol, that's the good guy cholesterol goes up and their weight comes off. And I've seen big weight loss in women, anxious women using inositol supplement, five grams a day. So we've got a new way of, look, of treating in, uh, uh, polycystic ovary syndrome here, which is not being uh, used in polycystic clinics for some reason, perhaps because the doctors there are medically trained and never, uh, have never learned any nutrition. They ignore published evidence on inositol being effective in polycystic ovary, more effective than, the, than their diabetic drug they use, which is called metformin but they'll sit down and write metformin for the patient. And it doesn't do a great job. It makes some improvement, but nowhere near as good as inositol. So my message is don't listen to doctors who don't understand nutrition. Go and see a dietitian. You'll be put on grains and legumes. They'll tell you to have some orange juice. 
They'll tell you to eat seedy foods and oats and porridge, and you'll get a bit better result, really. And many women do this. They want to get pregnant. They want to have children. They go to a dietitian. They lose weight. They're still a bit anxious, but they're not depressed anymore, and their polycystic's under reasonably good control. I want it under perfect control. If you completely treat the anxiety and reverse it all with five grams of inositol every day, which is twice what you'll get from your diet, you actually probably need the supplement for the rest of your life. 50 cents a day is nothing. Must have a low-fat diet. Must be very, very careful with delicious cheese and with chocolate and cakes and pastries and butter and cream and ice cream. We've got to be get this, done, this job done perfectly. Another benefit from the inositol in treating polycystic ovary, which you will not see with metformin, is it's anti-aging. It activates anti-aging genes. Inositol's been shown to do that. That means unusual energy in muscle and heart and brain. You have a smarter brain. You have faster, stronger muscles. You can't get this with diabetes drugs from doctors. You'll get it from a nutritionist, but the nutritionist may not be happy to see you using a supplement. So you've got to use your own nows and go and find this supplement and have five grams a day. It's probably all you need. I've got 2,000 patients taking that for anxiety. They love it. And that's my story on polycystic and how to get rid of it.